The Heian Palace Heian Kyo or Daideri was the original imperial palace of Heian Kyo present-day Kyoto, the capital of Japan, from 794 to 1227. The palace, which served as the imperial residence and the administrative center of for most of the Heian period from 794 to 1185, was located at the north-central location of the city in accordance with the Chinese models used for the design of the capital. The palace consisted of a large rectangular walled enclosure, which contained several ceremonial and administrative buildings including the government ministries. Inside this enclosure was the separately walled residential compound of the emperor or the inner palace diary. In addition to the emperor's living quarters, the inner palace contained the residences of the imperial consorts, as well as certain official and ceremonial buildings more closely linked to the person of the emperor. The original role of the palace was to manifest the centralized government model adopted by Japan from China in the 7th century Thidei Hokan and its subsidiary eight ministries. The palace was designed to provide an appropriate setting for the emperor's residence, the conduct of great affairs of state, and the accompanying ceremonies. While the residential function of the palace continued until the 12th century, the facilities built for grand state ceremonies began to fall into disuse by the 9th century. This was due to both the abandonment of several statutory ceremonies and procedures and the transfer of several remaining ceremonies into the smaller scale setting of the inner palace. From the mid Heian period, the palace suffered several fires and other disasters. During reconstructions, emperors and some of the office functions resided outside the palace. This, along with the general loss of political power of the court, acted to further diminish the importance of the palace as the administrative center. Finally in 1227 the palace burned down and was never rebuilt. The site was built over so that almost no trace of it remains. Knowledge of the palace is thus based on contemporary literary sources, surviving diagrams and paintings, and limited excavations conducted mainly since the late 1970s. Location The palace was located at the northern center of the rectangular Heian Kyo, following the Chinese model specifically that of the Tang Dynasty capital of Chang'an adopted already for the Haizhou Palace and the earlier capital Haizhou Kyo in present-day Nara, and Nagaoka Kyo. The southeastern corner of the greater palace was located in the middle of the present-day Nijo Castle. The main entrance to the palace was the gate Suzukum in 35 degrees 049 and 135 degrees 4432 e coordinates 35 degrees 049 and 135 degrees 4432 e which formed the northern terminus of the Great Suzaku Avenue that ran through the center of the city from the Gate Rashomon. The palace thus faced south and presided over the symmetrical urban plan of Heian Kyo. In addition to the Suzukuman, the palace had 13 other gates located symmetrically along the side walls. A major avenue Oji led to each of the gates, except for the three along the northern side of the palace, which was coterminous with the northern boundary of the city itself. History The palace was the first and most important structure to be erected at the new capital of Heian Kyo, where the court moved in 794 following Emperor Kanmu's order. The palace was not completely ready by the time of the move, however Daigakuden was completed only in 795, and the government office in charge of its construction was disbanded only in 805. The Grand Chinese-style compounds of Chodoan and Barakuen started to fall into disuse quite early on in parallel with the decline of the elaborate Chinese-inspired Ritsuryo government processes and bureaucracy, which were gradually either abandoned or reduced to empty forms. The center of gravity of the palace complex moved to the inner palace or diary, and the Shishinden and later even the Suryodhan overtook the Daigakuden as loci for the conduct of official government business. In parallel with the concentration of activity within the diary, the greater palace began to be regarded as increasingly unsafe, especially by night. One reason may be the prevalent superstition of the period uninhabited buildings were avoided for fear of spirits and ghosts, and even the great Baraku and compound was thought to be haunted. In addition, the level of actual security maintained at the palace went into decline, and by the early 11th century only one palace gate, the Yomimon in the east, appears to have been guarded. Hence burglary and even violent crime became a problem within the palace by the first half of 11th century. Fires were a constant problem as the palace compound was constructed almost entirely of wood. The Daigakuden was reconstructed after fires in 876, 1068 and in 1156 despite its limited use. However, after the major fire of 1177 which destroyed much of the greater palace, the Daigakuden was never again rebuilt. The Barakun was destroyed by a fire in 1063 and was never rebuilt. As of 960, the diary was also repeatedly destroyed by fires, but it was systematically rebuilt and used as the official imperial residence until the late 12th century. 
During periods of rebuilding the diary following fires, the emperors frequently had to stay at their secondary Sado diary palaces within the city. Often these secondary palaces were provided by the powerful Fujiwara family, which especially in the latter part of the Heian period exercised de facto control of politics by providing consorts to successive emperors. Thus the residences of the emperor's maternal grandparents started to usurp the residential role of the palace even before the end of the Heian period. The institution of rule by retired emperors or the Insei system in Sei from 1086 further added to the declining importance of the palace as retired emperors exercised power from their own residential palaces inside and outside the city. After a fire in 1177, the original palace complex was abandoned and emperors resided in smaller palaces the former Sado diary within the city and villas outside it. In 1227 a fire finally destroyed what remained of the diary, and the old greater palace went into complete disuse. In 1334 Emperor Godago issued an edict to rebuild the greater palace, but no resources were available to support this and the project came to nothing. The present Kyoto Imperial Palace is located immediately to the west of the site of the Tsushimakado Mansion Tsushimakeda Dano, the great Fujiwara residence in the northeastern corner of the city. The Jingi Khan, the final standing section of the palace, remained in use until 1585. Primary Sources While the palace itself has been completely destroyed, a significant amount of information regarding it has been obtained from contemporary and almost contemporary sources. The Heian Palace figures as a background for action in many Heian period literary texts, both fiction and non-fiction. These provide important information on the palace itself, court ceremonies and functions held there as well as everyday routines of the courtiers living or working there. Notable examples include the tale of Genji by Murasaki Shikibu, the so-called pillow book by Seisho Nagan and the chronicle Agamono Gatari. In addition, paintings in certain Imekumono picture scrolls depict sometimes fictional scenes that took place at the palace. The Genji Mono Gatari Imaki, dating from about 1130 is perhaps the best known example. Finally, there are also partially damaged contemporary maps of the palace from the 10th and 12th century showing the layout and function of the buildings within diary. In addition to literary evidence, archaeological excavation conducted mainly since the late 1970s have revealed further information about the palace. In particular, the existence and location of buildings such as the Barakuin compound has been verified against the contemporary documentary sources. Greater Palace Daedari The Greater Palace Daedari was a walled rectangular area extending approximately 1.4 km 0.87 miles from north to south between the first and second major east-west avenues Ichijo-oji and Nijo-oji and 1.2 km 0.75 miles from west to east between the Nishiomiya-oji and Omiya-oji north-south avenues. The three main structures within the Greater Palace were the official compound Chodo Inn, the reception compound Barakuin and the inner palace diary. Chodo Inn Chodo Inn was a rectangular walled enclosure situated directly to the north of the Suzukuman Gate in the center of the southern wall of the Greater Palace. It was based on Chinese models and followed Chinese architectural styles, and archaeological evidence from earlier capitals shows that this building complex was present in earlier palaces and had a remarkably stable design from the 7th century onwards. Daigakuten The main building within the Chodo Inn was the Daigakuten or the Great Audience Hall, facing south at the northern end of the compound. This was a large approximately 52 meters 170 feet east to west and 20 meters 65 feet north to south Chinese style building with white walls, vermilion pillars and green tiled roofs, intended to host the most important state ceremonies and functions. The southern part of the Chodo Inn was occupied by the 12 halls where the bureaucracy was seated for ceremonies according to strict order of precedence. The Heian Jingu Shrine in Kyoto includes an apparently faithful reconstruction of the Daigakuden in somewhat reduced scale. It was in the Chodo in that accession audiences were held, the emperor was supposed to preside over early morning deliberations on major state affairs by the bureaucracy, receive monthly reports from officials, hold New Year congratulations and receive foreign ambassadors. However, the practice of the morning deliberations ceased to be followed by 810 as did the monthly reports. Foreign ambassadors were no longer received for most of the Heian period, and the New Year celebrations were abbreviated and moved into the diary by the end of the 10th century, leaving the accession audiences and certain Buddhist ceremonials as the only ones held in the Chodo Inn. Baraku Inn The Baraku Inn was another large rectangular Chinese-style compound, situated to the west of the Chodo Inn. It was built for official celebrations and banquets and used also for other types of entertainment such as archery contests. Like the Chodo Inn. Also the Baraku Inn had a hall at the central northern end of the enclosure overseeing the court. This hall, the Barakuden, was used by the emperor and courtiers presiding over activities in the Baraku Inn. However, 
like the Chodo Inn, the Braku Inn also fell gradually into disuse as many functions were moved to the diary. Its site is one of the few within the palace area that has been excavated. Other buildings, apart from the inner palace, the remaining area of the greater palace was occupied by ministries, lesser offices, workshops, storage buildings and the large open space of the banqueting pine grove or Ennomatsu Bara to the east of the diary. The buildings of the Council of State or Daiyokan were situated in a walled enclosure immediately to the east of the Chodo Inn, laid out in the typical symmetrical plan of buildings opening to a courtyard in the south. The palace also housed the Shingon Inn, apart from Taji and Saiji, the only Buddhist establishment permitted within the capital. Its placement right next to the inner palace shows the influence of the Shingon sect during the early Heian period. Inner Palace Diary The inner palace or diary was located to the northeast of the Chodo Inn somewhat to the east of the central north-south axis of the greater palace. Its central feature was the throne hall. The diary encompassed the emperor's quarters and the pavilions of the imperial consorts and ladies-in-waiting collectively, the kokyu. The diary was enclosed within two sets of walls. In addition to the diary itself, the outer walls enclosed some household offices, storage areas, and the chum, a walled area of Shinto buildings associated with the emperor's religious functions, situated to the west of the diary itself. At the geographic center of the greater palace, the principal gate of the larger enclosure was the Kenryamon Gate, located in the southern wall along the median north-south axis of the diary. The diary proper, the residential compound of the emperor, was enclosed within another set of walls to the east of Chum. It measured approximately 215 meters 710 feet north to south and 170 meters 560 feet east to west. The main gate was the Shomimon Gate at the center of the southern wall of the diary enclosure immediately to the north of the Kenryamon Gate. In contrast to the solemn official Chinese-style architecture of the Chodo Inn and the Baraku Inn, the diary was built in more intimate Japanese architectural style if still on a grand scale. The inner palace represented a variant of the Shinden-style architecture used in the aristocratic villas and houses of the period. The buildings, with unpainted surfaces and gabled and shingled cypress spark roofs, were raised on elevated wooden platforms and connected to each other with covered and uncovered slightly elevated passages. Between the buildings and passages were gravel yards and small gardens. Shishinden The largest building of the diary was the throne hall or Shishinden, a building reserved for official functions. It was a rectangular hall measuring approximately 30 meters 98 feet east to west and 25 meters 82 feet north to south, and situated along the median north-south axis of the diary, overseeing a rectangular courtyard and facing the Shomimon Gate. A Tachibana orange tree and a Sakura cherry tree stood symmetrically on both sides of the front staircase of the building. The courtyard was flanked on both sides by smaller halls connected to the Shishinden, creating the same configuration of buildings influenced by Chinese examples that was found in the aristocratic Shinden-style villas of the period. The Shishinden was used for official functions and ceremonies that were not held at the Daigakuden of the Chodo and complex. It took over much of the intended use of the larger and more formal building from an early date as the daily business of government ceased to be conducted in the presence of the emperor in the Daigakuden already at the beginning of the 9th century. Connected to this diminishing reliance on the official government procedures described in the Ritsuryo Kone was the establishment of a personal secretariat to the emperor, the Chamberlain's Office or Kuro Dadakoro. This office, which increasingly took over the role of coordinating the work of government organs, was set up in the Kyoshaden, the hall to the southwest of the Shishinden. Jijiden. To the north of the Shishinden stood the Jijiden, a similarly constructed hall of somewhat smaller size that was intended to function as the emperor's living quarters. However, beginning already in the 9th century, the emperors often chose to reside in other buildings of the diary. A third still smaller hall, the Shokyoden was located next to the north along the main axis of the diary. After the diary was rebuilt following a fire in 960, the regular residents of the emperors moved to the smaller Siryoden an east-facing building located immediately to the northwest from Shishinden. Gradually the Suryodhan began to be used increasingly for meetings as well, with emperors spending much of their time in this part of the palace. The busiest part of the building was the courtier's hall Tenjanama, where high-ranking nobles came to meet in the presence of the emperor. Other buildings, the empress, as well as the official and unofficial imperial consorts, was also housed in the diary, occupying buildings in the northern part of the enclosure. The most prestigious buildings, housing the empress and the official consorts, were the ones that had appropriate locations for such use according to the originally Chinese designed principles the Kokiden, the Reichiden and the Jonaiden, as well as the ones closest to the imperial residence in Suryoden the Koryoden and the Fujitsubo. The lesser consorts and ladies-in-waiting occupied other buildings in the northern half of the diary. 
one of the imperial regalia of Japan, the emperor's replica of the sacred mirror, was also housed in the Yunmaiden Hall of the Diary. The present-day Kyoto Imperial Palace, located in what was the northeastern corner of Heian-kyo, reproduces much of the Heian period diary, in particular the Shishinden and the Suryodhan.